Hi, and welcome to Smoke Training. In part four of the Connect Effects series, we'll take a look at some useful filter-like effect nodes that come with built-in presets. We'll show you which filters that are quick and easy to use, and show you how to save your own modified effect nodes. Quite often in FCP7, when enhancing your edit, you will add video filters that would help you quickly create a stylized look. You would either use some of the built-in FCP effects, or maybe you have installed a number of extra third-party filters. Inside of Connect Effects, Smoke 2013 has a number of effect nodes that include hundreds of effect presets that can be quickly applied and modified to suit. Let's start by taking a shot into Connect Effects. Select the shot and hit Control Tab to bring up the Effect Chooser bar. Click Create Connect Effects. To quickly find an effect node, hover your cursor over the main node bin and press a letter on the keyboard that corresponds to a node name. For example, we'll add the Damage Effect node, so press the letter D. You'll notice that all effect nodes that start with the letter D are now highlighted, making it easier to visually locate a particular node. Click on the Damage node and drop it onto the connection line between your source footage and the Connect Effects output node. Now click on the Damage node so that we see the effect parameters for the node in the area at the bottom of the screen. After applying the Damage node, there will be no visible changes to your shot. This node includes three different types of damage that can be applied to your pictures. Digital, Analog or Film. After choosing a damage type, many different parameters are shown here on the right which allow you to configure the effect exactly as you choose. That's great, but we want an even faster way. Here, above the effect parameters is a preset menu. By clicking on the drop-down arrow, we can see there are a number of built-in effect presets. Choose a preset from the list, then click Confirm to load. Now that's a much quicker way to get you up and running fast. However, by choosing a preset from the list, it's hard to determine what they might actually look like. Instead of clicking on the drop-down arrow, click on the preset button instead. This loads the preset browser, which gives you an idea of what the effect will look like. Here on the left are three different damage categories. You click on a damage type to explore the included presets. Let's click on the film category. The available presets are displayed on the right hand side. If you see text names instead of thumbnails previewing the effect, head to the top left of the preset file browser and click the button so that it changes to proxies. Now we can see thumbnails that represent the different effects. To go back to enable us to choose a different damage effect type, click the up arrow here at the top of the file browser. Now we are able to choose a new damage type and browse the included presets. To load a particular effect, click on the thumbnail and then finally click Confirm to continue. The preset is now loaded and you can now tweak the effect further by modifying the parameters or turning on or off different defect types. Let's say you modify the parameters and you would like to save the effect to use again later. With the node selected, click the Node Preferences button located down the left hand side here at the bottom. Two new buttons appear to the right of the Exit CFX button, Load Node and Save Node. Clicking the Save Node button loads the Smoke file browser. If we check the directory location up in the File Path area, we can see our project name followed by the name of the effect node, in our case, Damage. We are in a subfolder of the Damage directory called Smoke. This is the default location that Smoke will save any of the custom effects you create for this node. Every single node that you add to Connect Effects has its own folder to make it easy to save and recall any of your customized nodes. It's worth pointing out that you're free to save your nodes anywhere you choose inside of your file system. Perhaps you might have a central location on your server called Smoke Effects. If you save your nodes in a custom location, bear in mind that when loading a node, you will only see the effects that relate to the currently selected node. For example, you may have hundreds of different types of custom effects in your folder. But if you have a damage node selected in Connect Effects, when you select Load Node, you'll only see the effects that were created with the damage node. There's even a Glow node included to help stylize your footage. Add the Glow node into the Connect Effects flow. From the preset drop down menu, there is a selection of Glow presets that can be added. After choosing a Glow type, a small icon appears above the Glow node. This icon represents a note. Click on the note icon and you'll find useful tips relating to each Glow preset, giving you hints as to which parameters to adjust or which types of inputs are required for the effect to work. Let's try a different effect filter, the Matchbox node. As soon as we apply this node, the preset browser appears. 
Here you'll find a number of creative tools to apply. Select a preset, then click the Load button. To change what effect preset is loaded, click the Change Shader button. There's also an effect node that looks very similar to the Overdrive filter in FCP7. Add the effect node called Optics to the Connect Effects flow. It requires a front, back and matte input source to operate properly. This Optics node can look very effective when used on text or graphics. And just when you thought we have enough creative effect filters inside of ConnectFX, here's one more. And we've saved quite possibly the best for last. Hover over the node bin and press the letter S. Drop the Stylize Effect node into the ConnectFX processing flow. This one node includes almost 100 different presets, many of which are similar to third-party filters which can be added to FCP7. These all come included with Smoke 2013. The same method of previewing presets which we did earlier applies here as well. Click on the preset button and now we can navigate to the file browser and view thumbnails of the included filter presets. Click a preset thumbnail and click confirm to load. The presets for Stylize only just scratch the surface of what's available inside this effect node. This effect can consist of many different layers of artistic painting, drawing and texture effects, all composited together with the available blending modes. This node is definitely one to play with and master as there are so many creative possibilities that can be achieved with this single filter. As you can see, there are loads of creative filter type effects available to you in Connect Effects. They all include effect presets to help you achieve a particular look for your edit very quickly. All these effect nodes are included by default in Smoke 2013, reducing your need for third-party effect filters. That brings to a close part 4 of this series introducing Smoke 2013's visual effects compositing environment, ConnectFX. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we'll walk through the process of building a simple composite inside of ConnectFX.